Greetings and salutations to you all, my good chums. My name is Richard, this is Gentlemanly Gaming, and welcome back to Grand Strategy Sunday and Crusader Kings 2 in real life. Last time on the show, uh, we lost some more land from ourselves. We had to defend ourselves a little bit more again because the uh, the Caliph is a weak, weak person now. We are, we are slowly falling apart and we lost more territory. We lost uh, this bit of land up here that we had previously. That that got taken from us. So, uh, yeah, not particularly happy about that. Because uh, from what I was told, they were claiming for this area here. But when they won the war, they took this area here. And now he, this guy is part of the larger kingdom next to us. So we can't do anything about that to try and get that back now. That's... Uh, that's pretty much gone, as far as I can see. Um, but one good thing is that this kingdom next door did shatter. And there is a huge revolt that rose up now. So there are problems in the uh, in the kingdom next door. So that's good. That's good. That that helps us a little bit. But the, uh, the problem is, is that everyone keeps sieging down my land. Because I'm pretty much the... Um, largest part of the Abbasid Empire now pretty much uh, there's me there's this guy here and then there's this guy here but this isn't as big as it looks it's not made up of you know this is more than half of the kingdom and it's just one one county so it's really not that he's does he's not bringing a lot to the table this guy this guy is bringing a bit more he is quite powerful he has five and a half and i at the moment only have like oh i have four and a half now okay it was three and a half before some of those troops have obviously recovered but yeah we are pretty much the biggest part of the realm right now so we're the one that keeps getting targeted which is annoying. You can see our realm over here has been sieged multiple times. We are currently being sieged down here again in Bahrain. I had to hire some mercenaries to try and help us out because I couldn't really put up the numbers needed in order to defend myself at the time. I probably can now, but I couldn't at the time. So yeah, it's it's not looking great. It's looking a little bit dicey. It's looking a little bit uh, ropey. Destruction is a possible end to this series now. Again, I, I ruled it off of the table at one point, but uh, but I think it is back on as well. And uh, Emir Hafiz is still a paranoid, deceitful, cruel man. Last time we imprisoned our heir because this heir had the previous heir murdered so yeah we we arrested this guy he was planning to kill us as well which wasn't a huge surprise he is next in line it makes sense that he would want us out of the way so yeah he's in prison we needed to uh quash him and his army to, in order to get him in there but he is in prison now and that's something that we want to do with this guy so apparently um Executing this guy is not great. It's going to be seen as tyrannical. I'm not sure why, but apparently it is. So what we're probably going to do is we're probably going to hurt him. And then we're probably just going to chuck him in the oubliette and let him die of his own accord. And if he doesn't die within a reasonable amount of time, then we can bring him out and hurt him once again. So that's probably what we're going to do for the first thing today. We are going to hurt him. And let's hope we don't put him outside again, because that's what we seem to keep doing. But let's see. Uh, a bucket of wraps. Uh, wraps? Yeah, you know, like the wraps, you know, that you get in Mexican restaurants for burritos and stuff. Yeah, a bucket of them was put on him. Uh, strapped to his chest and heated with burning coals. Fortunately, it was removed before the rats managed to gnaw away through him. Judging by Sheikh Ali's screams, it seems like he'd learnt his lesson. So, he is now in a worse shape. We are going to chuck him into the oubliette and leave him in there for a little while. These mercenaries are on their way over here to help with this situation because I don't want my land seized because that costs me money and 
tax and everything else, what have you. But speaking of money, these mercenaries are eating into our funds. So I do want to get these guys out of the way and just uh, disband the mercenaries. What else did I want to do? Right, there is um, something else that I wanted to do in here right now. So we're trying to kill this guy. I don't think we need to do that anymore. So we can cancel that. We have threats. So this guy, I want to start spying on him. And if we can, I want to see if I can kill him. Most of my plots aren't going to work very well though, yeah. Because like I said, I don't have a spy master or anything. So it's not really going to come to anything, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, the council's looking a lot more empty these days, isn't it? That's what we like to see as a paranoid man. That is what we like to see. No one around us. Me in total charge. Uh, so yeah, this guy, we're going to spy on him. Hopefully something comes of that. I don't know if I can invite my friend to the plot. You will come, but I'm guessing I don't... Yeah, I don't like you enough to trust you. You, I don't like you enough to trust you. So nobody is going to come into this plot. Okay, that's fine. Well, he can stay there. I don't think it's going to grow. But... Um, well, you know, we can hope, right? Uh, that is pretty much it for the time being. I want to get over here and crush these guys and uh, then disband these mercenaries. But until then, there's there's not really much going on right now. Uh, we are not a man that wishes to do a lot, unfortunately. Still can't pick an ambition either. Neither of these really look particularly like we want anything to do right now i mean potentially king of arabia because our opinion of the caliph is starting to go down he is now into your all right territory but he used to be in i like and trust you territory so he's taken a few hits i imagine that's probably a lot of that is because uh we lost realms didn't we uh, no, it's because he's a lunatic, he has vicious rumours, oh, and heaven forbid he is left-handed. Oh, disgusting, filthy. Um, but yeah, like I said, just going to crush these guys and I will be back with you when something interesting happens. Okay, so I went through the world looking for another wife and what have you. Uh, and I was just looking at the people who I like the most uh, and my mother is the person I like the most in this absolute world, which makes sense, she's my mum. So, you know, she raised me, I know that she's not trying to kill me. Uh, my opinion of her is 86, which means I love her. You know, she is, you know, probably the only person in this world that I actually trust. Now, you can't do uh, uh, mother-son marriages, which is fine, because I don't really think I'm that kind of Per way inclined but what you can do is appoint them as your spy master it's exactly exactly the kind of thing I would do so my mum is going to become my spy master so I now have a spy master again so I can get her to scheme which would help keep me safe a little bit but the thing that I can also get her to do just get rid of that is I can get her to build a spy network in Esfahan and that should hopefully increase the plot power of uh, this eventually. Let it kick in a little bit. Now also, I'm going to see if I can invite her to my plot. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to, am I? No, because she's not there. which. Okay, well, that is going to hopefully increase the plot power. Let time tick along a little bit. This is another person that I actually liked. Right, my opinion has gone down of her now that she's actually in my court. Figured that was going to happen. That usually happens. But, uh, yeah, this was the only other person in the world that I actually liked. But my opinion of her has dropped a little bit. Which is a bit annoying because I was hoping there might be a wife there. Ah, uh, damn. Well, if my opinion goes up by three, then I would say that she's back on course to be okay, but she's not necessarily wife material until she gets over 75. 
which is a bit annoying. But uh, anyway, let us see what that has done to the plot pout. Nothing. Hopefully, give her some time, and that might actually come to something. She's not particularly great, though. That's the problem. 4.5%. I thought that we... Uh, we're already at 30 odd anyway. Anyway, whatever. My mum is now in my court. She is the person who I like most in this absolute world. So we're probably going to be giving her some other titles as well, I think. Uh, I think that she is going to become the designated regent. Because I trust her. Um... I'm probably going to do some stuff to keep her close to me as well. So she can be... She can't be my cupbearer because she's a woman. Yeah, sorry about that. She can be the court tutor though. I know that for a fact. Where has she gone? She's gone. She's disappeared. She can't be the court tutor because she's not here, I'm guessing. Okay, well... Anyway, we'll keep an eye on that situation, and we'll keep an eye on the situation here as well with the um, the plot power. Hopefully, that will improve. Okay, Air died in the dungeon. Air died. He's gone. Died in the dungeons of Emir Hafiz. So that was the plan. That was the plan. Hurt him, put him in the dungeon, let him die that way. That way, I don't get any tyranny from that. So we have a new player, Air. This is our new heir. I don't like him. He doesn't like me. That's fine. He's not done anything that's going to trigger me right now, which is fine. That's okay. He's also not old enough that he's going to become a threat yet. So that's fine. Oh, the plot power went up 42.5%. That's good. See if there's uh, anyone in here now that will come that I can trust. Nope. No, okay. No, okay, fair enough. There's still no one I can invite to that. That's probably not going to kick off. Um, <clears throat> or I could auto invite plots. And now that I have someone in charge. Or do I want to keep an eye on it myself? I probably want to keep an eye on it myself, don't I? Because I'm paranoid. So even if I... Although I do trust her. So I could look at that and say... Like, um, you, you invite the people who you think will come. Like, take it all out of my hands now. Uh, let's get rid of that because, yeah, we have a new heir. That's fine. Uh, I'm still going to keep spying on him because I'm sure something will come up. So, yeah, I mean, could I do that and then do that because it's now out of my hands? Or, no, because I'm on an intrigue focus, I think it makes sense that I would have my hands involved in that somehow. Uh, also, you are not going to lead armies ever. I know you're not going to. So, yeah, I think I want to get involved in it still, actually. Yeah, because it's me. It's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to stay getting involved in it. That's fine. This battle should be over momentarily, hopefully. That's good. These guys, are they're not going to come in now, but I want to siege this back. Uh, and then we will... Um, disband these troops although we're pretty close already to needing to disband them hopefully we'll be able to siege this back in time uh, the world is a dangerous place indeed, but yeah I know that people are always trying to kill me that's fine I found out nothing new and useful about Sheik Arif or S of Esfahan but Shade is my informant so I can make something up uh, no it needs to be real because it, it, that doesn't help me get hold of him. Uh, Al Hasse is doing well. But that's fine. Um, yeah, I think we'll be fine. We'll, we'll be fine. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to siege all this back before needing to disband these troops. So, yeah, that's fine. Not a problem. No. Nope. Keep it up. We'll find something. So, 
my mum has come back and said that this guy can be dissuaded from associating with conspiratorial factions if I blackmail him. Now, he is the guy that's actually giving me threat at the moment. So if I do that, then hopefully he should stop and he won't be a threat anymore. But the fact that he's been a threat will make me want to still keep an eye on him. We'll give it a go and see what happens there. Though I curse your name, I will comply with your unfair demand. Just keep the sensitive information to yourself. Okay, so that's fine. That should disappear now though. Yep, there we go. So that disappears because he is no longer allowed to plot against me. That's fine. But I think I'm still going to keep this going because he was a threat. Just because he isn't anymore doesn't mean he won't be again. So we will stick to that for the time being. I also know about two new plots. You're my kinswoman. I don't particularly like you and I don't like you. You're meh. But you're trying to kill me. Ooh. Is that the same? No, it's not the same person. Right, so you've now become a big problem. And so have all of these people who have decided to join the plot. Might need to start thinning out some of the herd. Right, um, so what I'm going to do for now... Is I'm going to stop spying on you f for the moment. Or, yeah, I'm going to stop spying on you for the moment. Let that go. And then you... I'm going to start spying on you... I'm going to plot to kill you, but I'm also going to ask you to end the plot. And let's see if you end it. Fair enough, but I should still be able to arrest her because I know that she was part of the plot. And then there's there's a lot of people here. I can't I can't spy and 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 do anything on all of them all at once. Plot power is quite high already. No one I can invite. Where are you? Right, are you in Tijana? I'm guessing. Yeah, you're you're here. Okay, so can I move my spy master? Yes. Okay, so I want you to come here instead for the time being. Because we're going to try and put an end to her. Oh, my Grand Vizier is gone. That's one more down. One more to go. And then we are fine. Dangerous factions. Yeah. Um, so you are now a danger as well. Danger's everywhere. Oh, Jesus. There's, there's danger around every corner at the moment. Oh, so many people to kill. So little time. Right, well, she's agreed to stop. Right, and yeah, that doesn't give me a just cause anymore. So we need to do this the uh, the dirty, dirty way, which is fine. We have no problem doing that. So we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on this. Hopefully something will come up with, that means we can uh, snatch her and do something about it. I'm being sieged down here again as well. I need to get rid of these, so these guys are probably going to have to just do what they need to do. Because I can't. There's nothing I can do. I, I mean, I could raise my troops up after, but I need to stand these forces down first. Right, that's done. That's taken back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disband these, because I can't afford to do that anymore. And then I'm probably going to see about raising my own troops problem is it's going to take a while for them to get all together that's the only issue and the point is as well there's a threat as well the more troops I lose the bigger that threat becomes but 
I mean, do I care? I'm not there, so do I really care? I think the only, yeah, I think the only reason I'm going to care is if they start coming down to my capital, where I am. Yeah, I, I think that that makes more sense. I don't think I'm going to care if they're all the way there or all the way over here. If they're trying to fight me to take it, then that's one thing, but they're not. They're just a revolt uh, for increased council power, right? Yeah, so... I don't really care, do I? It, it costs me money, unfortunately, but I'm not greedy. I don't really care about money. Money is not a huge concern of mine. My snoops overheard Rasa Kinder as she told shocking lies about her rightful liege. How should I use this information? Uh, keep this information to myself. Uh, well, both of them say that I don't use the information. But that one says I stop and that one says I keep going. So I only have one choice. So I'm just going to keep going. But you would have thought that that would be something that I could use to maybe, you know, leverage something. But uh, apparently not. Okay. Uh, he's about to rise up. For too long, you have restricted the political influence of your vassals. The time has come to give the Magis the more power. Submit to this demand peacefully or face the consequences. Rest assured, I have gathered others that are equally upset. How much power do you have? 158% of my men. Yeah, um... Where are you? You're in Mecca. Okay, so all of those troops are just going to raise up, rise up in Mecca. Right, I have a little bit of time. So if I gather them all in here, hopefully... Oh, crap, I didn't, I didn't see that. Oh, balls. Right, well, they're going to get smashed. Okay, that doesn't help. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that's all the men that I can muster. I'm going to not give in, obviously. But some of these guys are going to get destroyed. Because... Yeah, well, they're going to die straight away anyway. These guys are here are going to die. They're probably going to die. But let's see how it will go. He's going to rise up, but let's see how many troops. Yep, so that lot gets wiped out. These ones are going to get wiped out as well. I can't afford new mercenaries right now. So, I think that this is a war that we're probably going to lose, to be honest with you. Because um, there's not really much that I can do against that kind of force. Can you just shut up? Stop asking me about that and just keep spying on her. I don't want you to stop. Just, just keep spying on her. That's all I want you to do. So, I have a feeling that we're going to have uh, increased council power. Um... By the end of this episode, unfortunately. Um, no, I need something real. Yeah. Because uh, I'm pretty sure that's all my troops, right? Yeah, some probably got smashed out here as well. So that is all my troops. That is it. That is all I have. And no commanders. Ooh, yeah, we've lost this one. Who are you? Why can you not be? Are you... Right, you're currently secluded. Right, okay, so that's why I can't put you in charge. Okay. Can I appoint any commanders? But none that I like, and I'm paranoid, so I don't want to give them charge of armed men because as far as I'm concerned they're just going to turn those men around and march them against me so right I 
I could lead men because I'm not scared. I'm not scared to lead men. The problem is, though, is I'm, I'm going to need to unseclude myself. Yeah, so I need to come out of hiding. So we're going to open the gates, which is not great because... Oh, now Zaid comes, but again, I don't like him. So I'm not available, so that's going to put me... Yeah. So I'm now, I'm now back out there... Um, doing jobs for my liege, not myself. Okay, so that's something that we need to take care of, unfortunately. But yeah, I think that this war is going to be very fastly lost. Right, so I think that this is where the first battle is going to take place. The only thing I can do is take defensive battles. I, I really, I don't... Or maybe I could... Well, I'm locked in there now anyway. Yeah, I probably should have got out and... Maybe tried to just siege them first. But the problem is, is that they're so close to me that I don't... Think I'm going to be able to outmaneuver them. But yeah, the only thing I can do is just... Uh, take defensive battles pretty much and just hope that yeah I can do some kind of damage to them I mean we're gonna lose that yeah but I mean it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be which is good uh, what's this going on here uh, a commander uh, I mean I don't have a terrible opinion of you so I'll accept that because I'm a tough soldier, but the thing is, is as soon as the gates are available, I'm probably just going to shut the gates again because I don't want to be outside because I'm paranoid. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, you're my mum, so you are trying to kill my mum. Uh, stop that. Oh, you're not going to. Okay. So we need to try and get our business done here and then get that one sorted out as well. This woman is very hard to spy on. She doesn't seem to do anything. She's gregarious though, so you would have thought that there would be something I could do there, right? But apparently not. Apparently there's nothing I can do, which is rather annoying. Uh, you guys are retreating, but I don't know where to. I mean, the only thing I can think is to go and try and siege them down. That's just going to give me more war score than battles, because I can't fight them in battles. That's the problem. During my stay at the court of a noble in Theodosiopolis, I have done my utmost to present my liege in a more favourable light, but since the forces around me seem to conspire to twist and turn my every action into something dubious and every word spoken into an insult, I have failed miserably. That I mean, I, I would blame that on someone else for sure. That 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 would be like, well, they're all out to get me. They're trying to make it so that I mess up my leads. Right, you come back here and seize the capital, and hopefully that will be able to give me some war score. But I have a feeling that that battle is going to be a uh, a big big problem now. See, this is an issue. Yeah. See, now this is another part of the revolt so they've got way more troops than me and they're just going to come in and destroy me this 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 war is over there is no way i can fight this many troops so unfortunately i think that they're going to have increased council power this is a uh, uh, one of my informants, a young soldier with more vices than he can afford, has managed to gain the trust of Rasa and now often stands guard outside her door. I don't understand how the fella managed it, but who am I, I to look a gift horse in the mouth? For enough gold, he might be persuaded to get rid of Rasa violently. Uh, only five gold? Yeah, get rid of her. Boom, done. Yeah, do it. In disguise, I met up with my friend Rasa's burly armsman and his shiftly looking associate, at a rundown tavern. Grinning, he recapped that doesn't sound like something I would do as a paranoid person. Anyway. Um, grinning, he recounts how they stab Rasa Kinder to death in her bed. I hand them a bag of coin and they leave. Outside, I order my guards to tie up the... Yeah, okay, that. That sounds exactly like a paranoid person. Okay, so that's done. Rasa is 
gone, so she was plotting to kill me. So that is something that I, uh, I don't want anything to do with. Now, first and foremost, are you still trying to kill my mum? No, not anymore. Okay, you're gone. But you, this guy, this, uh, this guy here, I want you dead. I want you dead because you have jumped up against me and how very dare you. Now, do I trust you enough? No, not to bring you in. No one I trust enough. Okay. Um, but we now need to move my mother, don't we? Yes, you now need to be in here because i'm pretty sure that's where his um capital is going to be anyway as soon as he as soon as this war's finished i'm pretty sure that uh we're, we're we're fairly close to to this war being done now anyway uh there are 76 yeah it's 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 gonna be over wow that's frustrating uh i've inherited a new mosque Fair enough, but uh, the problem is, is that, yeah, um, fabricate the claim on the Emirate of Nafud. Don't like you. I like him again now. Okay, so I need to change my stance on the council as well. Uh, is it high enough? It's, it's 60, so between 50 and 75 is I like you. So... Yeah, I think pragmatist is still all right, actually. I think that's fine. Yeah, we will remain a pragmatist for the time being. Uh, yeah, the problem is is that I'm walking right into here, and they're following me as well. So wherever I go, they're just going to hit me and wipe the rest of my men out. Yeah, see, there's going to be a battle here, see. Uh, Shabby insists that I help her get an old hat to fit. A very few tasks because she's too big for it now. Uh, no child tells me what to do or give in to her demands. Uh, I'm cruel. Yeah, no child tells me what to do. Smack you upside your head. Uh, don't mess with her feast at all. Uh, she even stuck her tongue out at me. Yeah, well. Right, here's this battle. This is going to be the last one. And then it's going to be over. And they're going to enforce their demands. There, there's, 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 there's. I'm not going to surrender because that's not the kind of person that I am. But um, this this is all but done. They, they're about to enforce their demands now. So they're at 100%. So we're going to have increased council power. But the thing is, is there's not going to be anyone on my council anyway. Um, now I could put that out there anyway. But I'm going to continue spying on him anyway. So yeah, I'm just going to put that out there that he killed someone. And there you go. So, to the cruel brute Hafiz, you child of a mangy dog, I accept your peace offer. I mean, it wasn't my peace offer, it was an automatic offer, I had no choice in it. You guys can be disbanded, you were useless. Um, and yeah, now we have uh, increased council power, don't we? Uh, where are the laws? Council is now empowered. Uh, this empowers the council. MFEs cannot change another regular law until 974. So that'll be the only way I can get to do it now anyway. But I don't have a council. That's the thing. But now that I don't have a council, any decision that I want to make with regards to war and things like that is now a situation where the council needs to vote on it. Not that I'm necessarily going to be going to war, but they now get to vote on it. And if I don't have a council that's in my favour anyway, it's going to say no. Um, so that is a is a bit of a problem. But yeah, there you go. That is the first time that we've actually had a council empowered. That's uh, that's never happened before. Yeah, you've you've not been a great leader, Emir Hafiz. Um, a lot of bad stuff has happened under your watch, I'm afraid, and uh, yeah, not great. Okay, apparently I can create the Kingdom of Arabia again.
I didn't think I... I lost. I, I lost parts of Arabia, so I didn't think I could do it anymore. But apparently I can create the Kingdom of Arabia. Huh! So I have the piety and the money to do it now. And apparently I did... I did have enough. I thought because I lost this part of it here that I lost the ability to create it because I didn't think I had enough. But apparently we can create the Kingdom of Arabia. Also, there's been another crusade called against R1. I don't know. Did, did that ever... Yeah, okay. Austrasia, yeah. So... They did win that. They won that crusade. Okay, so Europe's slowly pulling itself back together. Like I said last time, the Aztecs lost England and Ireland. So, oh, they've lost this area here as well, again. So the Aztecs are collapsing just as the Mongols are starting to pull themselves back together again. But yeah, Kingdom of Arabia, do I want to... No, I don't care about creating it. I'm pretty sure I turned that decision off as well, didn't I? Uh, yeah, I turned that off anyway. So I'm not interested in doing that. Okay, this plot is now up to 61. You're the same guy, right? Yeah. Right, so there's nothing I can do there, but I'm still going to continue to spy on this person. Um... I'm paranoid and shy again, so I think... I want to probably shut the gates again now that I can. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go back into hiding again because that's what I do best. Because I'm paranoid and scared, and I don't want to go out into the world because it's a it's a nasty, scary place. So something I've just been thinking about the fact that they have empowered the council through force. I think that means that I need to hire counsellors, right? And I think that in all, I, I have to hire the powerful counsellors. Because historically, if, if a war was fought in order for a council thing with regards to a kingdom in, med, in the medieval period, it was usually to put themselves onto the king's council. So I think that that's actually what I want to, what I need to do. I think that Yeah, I, I think that that makes sense. I think that it, whether they're on my side or not, I think that that now means that because they've empowered it. See, if I had if 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 I if I had a counts a council but I didn't let them have power. That was under my decision. I had a council at my choosing. That was my decision whether I wanted to have advisors around me or not. Now that they have fought and won a war to make me empower the council, I think that that also means that they have made me put them on the council. Powerful vassals now have to go onto the council and i definitely think that the grand vizier the highest position in the council needs to go to the man that made me lose that war definitely think i need to do that right now is there only there's only one other powerful vassal what are you best at You're best at being a spy master. Ah, do I want to... No, I think that... But no, they're going to want to control the council, aren't they? That's the whole point. The whole point is that they want to control the council. So I think that... Yeah, I don't think I have a choice. Yeah, I think that this guy wants to be the spy master because that's his thing. 
Now these guys get to actually choose what they want to do as well. But I, there's no there's no way that you can do that on in this game. They're, they're not going to have their own choice. It's not like um, Imperata, for instance, where if you have a commander who's disloyal, they can go off and do their own thing. That's not something that happens in this game. So I think that... What kind of character are you? Humble, stubborn, brave, kind, fat. You're also a flamboyant schemer, but you do definitely want to... So you're a flamboyant schemer, okay. Okay. Which means that you might want to try and sow dissent or fabricate claims. What else are you? Humble, stubborn, brave, kind. Which means that you probably don't want to sow dissent. Hmm. I think Fabricate claims And then you want the land So you want to You want this Because that is next to your realm Okay, that's fine. Uh, you, what are you? Severely injured, you're a lunatic. Okay, so that's greedy, zealous, deceitful, stubborn, envious, scarred. Hafiz, you've memorized the Quran. Okay, mild illness, dual experience, dual victory, renowned duelist. Okay, so you're a violent-y kind of person. You're a violent zealous who is also crazy stubborn and deceitful okay so you you want to sabotage places you are going to sabotage this realm because that is what the grand vizier, grand vizier has told you to do now i don't think i have anyone else who's powerful who needs to go in there are no more powerful vassals so the problem is is that you can't look at other people's opinions so <sighs> it's difficult um how do i want to go about this because the Grand Vizier, he's basically the guy in charge. He wants people that he can, he wants on the council. So he definitely wants to replace the Marshal because he, he was on the council previously. So he doesn't want that. He doesn't want them there. Uh, but how does he want to do it? How does he want to do it? Humble, stubborn, brave, kind. Flamboyant schemer. Someone with similar traits. Stubborn and stubborn doesn't... That's not... Yeah, they, stubborn people don't want stubborn people on the council. But the other, the problem is, is that the, this guy is stubborn, but he is powerful, so he has to be on the council. So I think similar traits. So he's looking for anyone who's humble, brave, or kind. Um, how do we want to organise this by rank? I guess. So anyone on here stubborn? No, he doesn't want you. Um, you're both flamboyant schemers, so that's not terrible. Kind. Okay. Okay, so you're kind, so he's going to put you in there. Okay, 
that's fine. Now, what are you like? Arbitrary, so you don't care about anything. So... Yeah, I guess maybe organize the army and then... But no, this guy, this guy is in charge. He wants to eventually go to war. So he's going to ask you to train troops. Um, and he's going to ask you to do that in the capital because that's where he's going to be most of the time anyway. Okay, steward, right. Uh, by rank is that way. Okay, so Grand Vizier, who do you want? Patient, you're not patient. Temperate, no. You, uh, stutter, ambitious, shy, slothful, temperate, kind. Okay, so you are going to go in as my steward. What are you like? Kind, temperate, slothful, shy, ambitious, theologian. Nothing particularly there. Um, no, he's going to get you to administer the realm because you're administering the realm on his behalf. That makes sense. Okay, and finally the court imam. Only one person that can go in there. That's fine. Do you have your erudite and a scholarly theologian? So something... Yeah, research cultural tech. Um, and you're going to do that in the capital close by to him as well. Okay. So the minor titles, I think, are mine to give away as I see fit. Maybe? Hmm... Or do I? So he definitely has control over the council now. But minor titles. See, because a lot of these are very council-esque. You know, the designated region is... Like, that's up to him. That's his... Realm, surely, right? I think that yeah actually I think that this is his this is his realm still um he will allow you to still be the muse no he won't actually no he he wants control over everything so the designated region is now this guy because of course it is court physician he are you the... No, you were the former commander, weren't you? He's going to let you do that. That's fine. The cupbearer is... I think it's going to be someone from his realm. I think... I don't know if I can do that, though, can I? I don't think I can do someone from his realm can I or maybe someone from his family yeah I don't know how well I can do that because I think he'd want to give that to someone from his realm because it's you know like honorable you know he wants to give him he, people that he knows more prestige and but the problem is is because they're in his court I can't 
do that because they're in his court. So, what house are you, Umiad? Okay, so we could give it to the other Umiad. That makes sense. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So, you are going to be the cupbearer. Court musician. There's no one else, I don't think, is there? No. Yeah, he's the only one left. Nice if I could do something from his house, you know? Like someone he's related to. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I want to um, revoke that off of you. Because, yeah, I didn't want to give you that. Sorry. Doesn't really matter about his opinion. I want him to hate me anyway. It makes more sense. Um, yeah, I, see, he's in your capital, but he's not doing anything, so it'll be great if I could use him. Jabir are related to you. Okay, is there anyone with the surname Jabir? Let's see. Uh, uh, Jabir is his actual name. What about Bint Jabir? No. Okay, so, right, well, let's just do that then, because... It's the closest I can get to it. Right, the court poet. Who else is in your court? Who else? So these are all... Oh, Ibn Jabir. Ibn Jabir, okay. Um, I don't think that that was going to come up anyway, is it? No. Anyone else? Or is it just that? Just that one guy, okay. Um... Paran or Suleiman. Okay, let's see if I can find something. Uh, no, there's no Paran, but uh, Suleiman. It's just him. You don't strike me as a poetic kind of guy. Okay, let's go by power. Okay, do you have... No. Let's see if there's anyone who's erudite, because at least then he knows that that guy's poetic. Okay, yeah, you can come in there. Chief Architect. This isn't a position that is going to be taken seriously, so I think he's going to give that to himself. Uh, court tutor, I think, is now going to go to someone else. Now, is there anyone who who's the female in his his wife is going to be with him, isn't she? So uh, we could go for Jabir again, Suleiman, Paran. Okay, let's go for Jabir, no, okay, uh, Suleiman, no, okay, and Palan, no, okay. So it doesn't seem that there's anyone, is there anyone of his dynasty? 
doesn't look like it, no. No, no one of his dynasty. Okay. Um... No, that's not what I want. So you're probably going to go with... Ranking then, I imagine. Someone with similar traits. So was he... Kindness was one of them, right? Humble, that was one. Okay, so you can come in as the court tutor. Uh... Zaid, who are you? You're a nobody, right? No, how Zaid? Okay. But you lost, so I think that he knows that, and he's gonna stuff this with himself, his kinsman, and then. Anyone else of importance? Silly mad. No, that wasn't it, was it? Um, so, what was it? Jalib? No. Um, uh, Suleiman? No. Um, Para? No. Okay, so no one else there. So there's no one else that he uh, could do. Maybe. Prince of Yemen. So he has marriage ties in Yemen. Okay. So. Oh. I don't, they're related to me, I think, but son of a bitch. Uh, right, let's do Kadir. And who was that other one I saw? There was, a, there was a guy I saw in here. Where did you go? Talib. So Talib and Kadir. Okay. So. Is there any uh, Talib? No. Nope. And is there any Qadir? No. Okay, so we will go by rank then. Okay, so... Surely he's going to be the highest, right? No? This guy is going to be the highest. Okay, he's, on, he's a steward, so that's fine. And then... You, Jabir. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so there you go. So he's filled that out. He's filled out the council. He's filled out the minor titles. And from this point on, and t unless we can unempower the council, this is how it's going to be. It's going to be the most powerful vassals automatically get a space on the council. And then... He's probably going to try and pass this on to someone from his realm. So the next vizier is probably going to be his heir, which is this guy. He's probably going to be the next vizier. And then depending on what he's like, we will go from there. But yeah, there you go. That is uh, that is how our realm is going to be run from now on. We're, we've, we've basically lost all control over our council now. We are a semi-powerless figurehead until we can do something about it. Yeah, this, um, our Emir Hafiz, it's all gone off the rails a little bit, um, your, because of your reign. Unless you can manage to get this guy out of the way, then maybe you can, uh, get yourself involved with maybe his heir or his heir. Oh, he doesn't have an heir at the moment, so I'm not sure where that will be going next. But yeah, there we go with, uh, the, the, the realm is slipping off the rails a little bit with you, I'm afraid, Hafiz. It's, uh, it's gone a little bit awry. Well, I want to thank you for joining me today. I certainly hope that you join me again next time. But until then, I bid you all adieu, a good day, and a massive GG to you all. This has been a Rich Tea Entertainment production. 
If you've enjoyed what you've seen, why not leave us a like and a comment? You can also choose to become a Rich Team member over on Patreon and enjoy member-only bonuses, including early access to all of our shows, exclusive unedited behind-the-scenes content, and even make suggestions for future shows. Check out the links to this, as well as to our Discord and Twitter, in the description below. And to check out some of our great podcasts, just search for Rich Tea Entertainment wherever you listen to your podcasts, or click the link for our top pick. A huge thank you to all of this month's patrons on screen now. Thank you for watching.